But I need a, I'll need a commitment from you. I'm going to send each of you playlists on every on everything on the sheet. Okay. They're YouTube videos. Okay. They're, they're most of them are very short. If you watch them and then just take take the way I do it and bring it inside of you and do it your way. Danny, I don't want you to be me, my man. I want you to be a better version of you. Jesse, I do want you to be me, okay? <laughs> just, just kidding, Jesse, just kidding, okay? I want you to learn the information. And, you know, bring it inside of you and then, then bring it out your own way. And I want you guys, as finance managers, I want, I mean, you need to get these guys setting, the, setting things up better for you. Because, well, let, let's, let me do another example here. Daniel. Yeah. Daniel, um, how do you, do, do you ever ask a customer if they've got a service contract on their trade-in or not? Every time. Okay, ask me. Um, Steve, by any chance do you have your contracts with you? Uh, I would like to see if you have a previous service contract on your vehicle that's either maintenance, tire care, or uh, any sort of warranty. Daniel, I'll save you some time. I don't, I don't buy that crap, okay? May I ask why? Okay, bad, bad question. Bad question. You don't want to involve yourself in Yeah, you're right, right. Look, I, I, don't, I, want, I don't want you, I don't want you selling F&I. I want you advocating for it, but you got the hardest job in the, in the, in the store already. You gotta get someone to buy a car, right. okay? Let's turn it around. Give me, you, you give me the same answer I gave you, okay? Okay. Uh, Daniel, did you happen to purchase a service contract with this vehicle? No. Okay, uh, not a problem, I understand. The reason I ask is, if you had purchased a service contract, two things happen right now, both good for you. Number one, when they take a deep dive into this vehicle later on when they appraise it, they're going to look for mechanical issues. If they discover a mechanical issue and you had a service contract, chances are the service contract would take care of the mechanic, mechanical issue at no cost to you, making your car worth more. Now, if your car is perfect like we hope it is, well, then you'd be due a refund for any miles or months that you had left on that contract, something you really should consider with your next vehicle. You like that? <laughs> Fantastic. These are things, you know, we, I mean, I can do this here, I can send out videos, but you guys can make it happen by reinforcing it on a, I mean, because let's face it, we all learn to do our jobs day by day, deal by deal. That's where real training takes place. I mean, this is show business, what I'm doing. This is a blast. Do I have good information? Sure I do. But I also know that in order to change behavior, you have to, I mean, how many times do you think I, these word tracks I'm using? Is this the first time I've ever, ever used them today? Not at all. No. No. I study my profession. <clears throat> I practice. Because when I'm at your store, and I will be inside your stores, I work for you. You ever want me to help you get a customer closed? And it doesn't have to be a... It doesn't have to have anything to do with Motor Trend Certified or Keep It New. I'll help you get a customer closed. That's my expertise, getting people to buy cars. There is no objection a consumer can give me, if they're speaking English, that I am not e extremely well prepared to handle. Now, it doesn't mean I get everyone to buy a car. Don't get me wrong. It's not some people. <laughs> 